Good afternoon, fellow iStaters. This is Paul Gordon of iState.tv, and this is your daily dose of headlines you may have missed for Tuesday, March 27th, 2018, episode number 48. You give us 20 minutes, and we'll give you headlines that aren't dominated with fear porn. We'll give you headlines of awareness, or I should say, I'm flipping that around, action, hope, and awareness, and yes, maybe a little lulls. And we do have some lulls here written in uh, this lulls will be, I have written this in sci-fi campy form, so I hope you enjoy the sci-fi campy form that you have to look forward to. You can get show notes at istate.tv slash H048, which is linked in the video description. Today's show is titled, Don't Fear the Dark Web. Embrace it. On today's episode of Headlines You May Have Missed, Dark Web Busts Gun Control, The Living Farming Tree, Germans Hate Catalonia, Calling Out Parkland, and more. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here are your 20 minutes of headlines you may have missed. Uh, Liberty Web, a.k.a. Dark Web, defies anti-gun restrictions. So an unknown gentleman... Or a gent I don't know if it's a gentleman or a gentlewoman. An unknown gentle soul writing for the Canadian press has revealed more about themselves than they did in the story that they wrote about the quote dark unquote web and what we at iStoke I State call the Liberty Web, allowing quote criminals unquote and and at that point, you should be inserting some sort of vapors triggering shriek right here. And 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 for Bodhi Agora, who hopefully you're watching, vapors means to get the the faints, like you're gonna faint. Because I know I know I know how you are. You don't you're you're not fully aware of anything past 1990. Uh, anyway, uh, that. Uh... <laughs> I distracted myself. Bodhi Agora, darn you! So, uh, allowing criminals to purchase guns. Guns. More vapors triggering shrieks here, please. Shrieks here, please, because, you know, the word guns. Without the government being aware of who bought what and who sold what. That's right. <laughs> People are getting on the dark webs, a.k.a. Liberty webs, and they're buying and selling guns without McGovernments being aware of who's doing what. Uh, oh. By the way, that's exactly what a vapor streak sounds like. If you're, I'll, I'll do it again just so you're fully aware of what a... That way, if you hear a vapor's triggering shriek nearby, you know to get behind the person and get ready to catch them. Unless they're a gun grabber, in which case, let them fall. Oh. So it's the worst of the worst catastrophes, and surely the only people that would be interested in buying something, in this case guns, from someone else without the government knowing about it must surely be criminals. Ooh! That was the fake rear's triggering shriek there. The unarmed gentle soul that wrote the story for the Canadian press refers to these guns being sold in the in the same shocking way the, the RA, RCMP does. That's Royal Canadian Mounted Police, which should be changed to Royal Canadian We Will Mount You If You Freedom Too Hard Police or the RCWWMYYFHFTHP or if you'd like just RMFP. For sure. I'll let you figure out what that means. They refer to these guns as being, quote, illicit, unquote, to get your proper translation. You are going to need to pull out your gov speak to plain speak translator or dictionary, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I happen to have one handy and I pulled it out and uh, this is what it told me. The guns that we have decided you are not grown up to enough to own, not responsible enough to own, not belonging to the right privileged class, the gov class, to own, are going to be termed illicit because that's a word with a lot of negative baggage that's sure to get 
most of your neighbors to support the kind of beatdown we might send your way if you dare defy our arbitrary definitions of what guns you little peasants can own or not own. So the precious little unarmed order follow, unnamed order follower or genuine lover of, of the police state, not sure which, goes on to push the psychological terrorism of the gun grabbers by advancing the narrative that there is some gun violence crisis in North America. And clearly, uh, these people hate children more than they love freedom. They would rather terrorize your child than allow people to have the freedom, to have the basic tools of self-defense. Uh, this, this, I, I, I said he says, but really, I don't know if it's a he or a she. The message comes from from the RCMP or RMFP, depending on well, RMFP, depending on how you look at them. As thousands of young people across North America demand an end to gun violence, and the Trudeau government moves to tighten laws on the licensing, sale, and tracking of firearms. I could probably send, spend the rest of the show talking about this article, but I don't have time. I'm moving on. Introducing the indoor house farm, the living farming tree. Now, for this story, I'm actually going to play a video here. And get you lined up. Uh... All right, that's that's good enough. I'll play a video here. Have you ever you wondered go. how I to bet. feel yes, closer to nature in your house? Totally wondered. This is the living farming tree a uniquely designed plug-and-play system to grow food anytime, anywhere. Insert the bars and the connectors, place the farming modules, and transplant your seedlings. Plug the system to electricity and connect to a Wi-Fi connection, download the app, and you're ready to grow. Through its modular sensors, the living farming tree will measure several parameters in your house and will automatically adapt the system for the efficient growth of your plants. When the system is in need of attendance, it will send push notifications directly to your smartphone. Use your smartphone to plan your crops, monitor your system's activity, if you're and gather to information audio, to share with your fellow urban farmer friends. When she gets to Easy to unpack and assemble, you will be able to adapt the living farming tree to the space available in your house and start producing delicious, healthy food with just a few clicks. So there you go. That's just a little bit of snippet there. So they've created this product called the Living Farming Tree, and it's an indoor urban farm that uses aeroponics, Wi-Fi, and phone apps, and a bit of AI to create one alternative to the centralized food supply system that current, currently dominates the, the landscape. And uh, yeah, yeah um, click on the show notes page and find this article, and, and be sure you watch the whole video because it's quite fascinating if you're listening to the audio version of the show definitely go to iStake.tv and uh, find this uh, and watch the video so the future tech wise is bright from an individual power and free association power perspective and this this is just one example of of how that's the case and now back to some boo hiss Germans press Pujemon in Spain enabling action. When you hear the word Germans in this story, you should be hissing. When you hear the word Spain in this story, you should be hissing. Well, I don't say should be. I strongly encourage you to be to be hissing. So it seems that the Germans hiss are committed to press on with the enabling of tyranny by proceeding with the extradition process for the former president of Catalonia. Carle Pujamon and I covered how the Germans intercept Pujamon and it was crossing into Denmark and arrested him uh, doing the bidding of Madrid, which is trying to clamp down on Catalonia because it dares imagine that maybe it's had enough of being part of Spain. So a German prosecutor is continuing the detainment of Pujamon as they go through the legal motions that will ultimately end with Pujamon being turned over to Spanish authorities who will then make of Pujamon an example for anyone who dares oppose the tyrants of Madrid. So uh, essentially they're, they're, they're going to keep him in prison and make sure that he doesn't get away so that, the, uh, so that, that, that Madrid can get its claws on Pujamon and make the kind of example that it feels it needs to make of uh, a man who stood up and said, Dude, I don't want to be part of you anymore. No divorce. Uh-uh, no divorce, buddy. 
Mass shooting survivor calls out Parkland kids for exploiting the dead. I have to tell you, I just want to focus on that. I enjoyed writing that title. Absolutely did. Unapologetically, I totally enjoyed writing that title. And if, uh, if you're watching on the Facebook page and you've got an issue with that title, mm, maybe you should unfriend me because we're probably not going to get along. So unless unless you've been on the receiving end of a shooter's intent to kill, don't talk to me about gun control because you don't have the same understanding as I have. And that's that's the narrative from the youth supremacists being pimped and pampered by the Cattle Car Guide Club of America or the gun grabber gang, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Add to that the whole, but they're just kids, so how dare you speak against what they're saying, even though what they're saying is already producing action that will land people in prison for merely possessing tools of self-defense we don't want them to have. The, the we here being, again, the Kettle Car God Club of America, the billiard, billionaire-sponsored anti-gun, anti-human, anti-liberty groups propping up kids who are telling the world that adults are dumb and only kids can rule the world even while they're being enabled and empowered and manipulated by the 1% of the 1% wealthiest adults in America. Good job, progressives. Stady progressives, I want to clarify. But good job, progressives, championing the 1% of the 1%. Uh, and uh, and then you, know, you, you see how they've, they've aimed to seal up any opposition to the advancement of their agenda before a single word is spoken. And yes, Ten ladies minutes. and gentlemen, that may have been the longest sentence that I had written in my entire life, and I apologize for that, but it's about to get better. Because it seems, it seems that one of those dumb adults these kids like to demean and ridicule has something to say to these kids, these youth supremacists. Uh, but there's 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 just one problem for these little police state enablers, and uh, that's this. It, it it seems that the adult speaking has actually survived a mass shooting. Boom! Key part of your narrative to stop the the, the descent from your tyranny. Done. Uh, and and I would say that he survived a mass shooting that was well in terms of numbers, it was worse. Than what these kids uh, faced. As, as a matter of fact, this guy was there in the room as it happened. He was watching people killed before his very eyes. You can't say that about the spokesperson for these youth supremacists who wasn't even in the same building, let alone now with the latest interview that this guy did with CBS might not have even been there when the shooting happened by his own accounts. I don't I'm waiting to see more details on that, but that that might turn out to be the case. So, yeah, I say this guy might have more credentials than 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 little Mister uh, Youth Supremacist Führer does. So he looked death square in the face. He didn't merely hear death in the building next to him. And uh, what's this man's take of what these kids are doing? Well, he says. This is his words, not mine, although I fully endorse them. As the survivor of a mass shooting, I can tell you from firsthand experience that all of you protesting and taking days off from school insult the memories of those who were killed and insult me and every lover of liberty by your very action. I, I will say that the whole taking days off from school part, I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, but 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 protesting in the names of the dead, the dead who are not there to actually speak for themselves. I don't know who died, uh, what their positions were. I'm willing to bet that at least a couple of them may not have the same views as the kids going out there, the ones that the 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 billionaire uh, funded media are propping up. That. That they would have agreed to have their names, to have their deaths being used in the in the crass police state enabling way that that you kids are, with with the help, with the funding, with the direction, uh, with the manipulation of the billionaires that support you. And he goes on to add, the best thing to do to combat chronic abusers and disregarders of the law, like the law against murder, is to pass another law. Genius, he wrote. 
But before we pass this law, we're going to denigrate the memory and curse ourselves by exploiting the death of 16 of our fellow students for a few Facebook likes and some media attention. And look how well civil rights abuses as it concerns firearms help to protect me and my friends in Paris. Yeah, they had stricter gun laws even than what these youth supremacists are, are asking for. So at the end of the day, by the way, I, 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 I skipped a couple things because we're running out of time. But at the end of the day, their feels don't trump our liberties. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is your moment of lows. Brace yourselves. Settle yourselves in. Let all of the things that happened before this moment clear your mind as you prepare for today's daily laws. Spiders use leg genes to build heads, study shows. Yeah. Yeah. Now just pretend that you didn't hear that title because because I want to build up the suspense and pretend you don't know what's coming. So from the depths of the deepest horrors of the darkest minds of science fiction comes news of killer spiders and dank scorpions that are doing hideous, twisted things with, with, it's almost too painful to say this, but I push on with, with, with their own bodies worse. These dank darlings that go creep in the night are messing with the fairy DNA to Five do minutes. things with things that are almost too despicable to talk about. But I will anyway because this is your freaking lulls of the day and I can't let you down. Apparently, brave scientists who couldn't who could manage to ponder such darkness, such such revolting, twisted realities delved deep into the mysterious DNA of spiders and scorpions and discovered a secret that is almost too painful, too shameful to reveal. Spiders and scorpions have, somewhere in their evolutionary journey, opted to take leg DNA, yes, their own leg DNA, and manipulate it in a way to create non-segmented heads. Can you believe? Can you believe the sickness that these creepy crawly things must have within them to create faces? Yes, faces from freaking legs! This is sick. This is, this is, this is really sick. This is like bacon frying level of sick. Yes, Lou Sander. I'm talking to you. He's my co-host on Thursday. I'm talking to you. It's that level of sick. The kind of sick that you actually endorse. But alas, it's true. And this ain't some press release from the government. It's like, you know, it's, it, it, it must be true. And I'll, you, you you click on the link there and go to the to the to the excerpt there from fizz.org and and read the details. It doesn't really matter. It, it it does it does it really matter? Portable blood lab could be in doctors' offices soon. You won't need to go to the blood lab anymore when the doctor needs test. Thanks to ELISA enzyme linked immunosuborbent assay. You can have the blood test done right there in the doctor's office from fizz.org. Uh, LISA is an important technology for biochemical analysis of proteins and hormones and is critical for the diagnosis of many diseases such as HIV and Lyme disease, said corresponding author Anna Payat. Payat? Payat. P Y A. YT. PhD, assistant professor at the University of South Florida College of Engineering, but the machine required for the incubation and reading are expensive and bulking. The Melissa allows patients to undergo testing and obtains uh, results at point of care. Did I see? Yeah, okay. So we got Alyssa and Melissa. Okay, whatever. Whatever. So the Melissa is the mobile version. Okay, great. So we're going to move on. Two minutes. 
After Afrin seized, who will govern there? So now that the Turk Reich has seized Afrin, the question now looms who will manage the affairs of the people still, who still live there. This, by the way, is the start of the victory in Afrin, ultimately costing the Turk Reich more, far more than it won. So Turkey's military operation has ended, and now they're taking its efforts into the political arena. It's hoping to expel the fighters of the Kurdish People's Protection Units. Good luck. But it has to do so without contravening Article 49 of the Fourth Geneva Convention. Who cares? Uh, but <laughs> now they're going to have to 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 manage the mess that they've created. And good luck. And yes, welcome, welcome to the insurgent resistance that you're about ready to face. 3D printed by Anna Can for the ten one tenth the price of current models. So, a team of Manchester University students has designed, that's One Manchester minute. in England, have designed and created a 3D printed Bionic hand at a fraction of the cost of what's on the market. Today, the price of this Bionic hand is about $500 as compared to $5,000 for rudimentary Bionic hands and $40,000 for the Bionic hand that can do what this hand can do. Proof of water on Mars? It's only a matter of time before scientists find a super race of lizard people camping out on Mars. Or maybe it's only a matter of time before science can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Mars once seconds. had water. And uh, it appears, uh, you're going to have to go to the story there to get the details, but it appears that a team of research at the Diamond Light Source Synchronicity Synchrotron facility in the UK have such proof. Last story. Female sea urchins produce more robust offspring in times of duress. We're Ten probably going to talk about this tonight. Uh, so f female sea urchins can produce more vagrant or more robust offspring somehow when they sense that the vagrant, which is, ah, I couldn't finish the story. And the reason I couldn't finish the story is because you guys know, you know, I'm, I'm not an absolutarian, but when it comes to that, to that, to that 20 minutes, I'm, I'm hard, fast, hardcore. I'm not going to say that they're... Well, no, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I absolutely will never go beyond that 20-minute timer. I don't care if, like this case, I was actually in the middle of a story and got cut off. Such as it is, man. That is the way it is. So, that's all we have today for headlines you may have missed. If you'd like to read more about the stories we covered today and maybe even some of the stories we didn't get to, just go to isheadlines.com and find the show notes for March 27th, 2018, or check out the link to the show notes page in the description for both the Facebook live stream and the YouTube video. And you can also go to istate.tv slash HO48. And also... You can find our audio podcast show on iTunes, and and there's a number of other. I mean, if if you have a podcast app, if it's pulling from iTunes, we're probably on that app as well. Uh, and also Stitcher by searching for iState, and on that version, you only get the 20 minutes. So the 20 minute version of today's show, <laughs> they're gonna get to that last story, and it's gonna just boom, cut off. They're going to have to live with that because that's the way it is, man. If you're watching on YouTube, you miss the opening of the show and you'll also miss the very end, which you can only hear if you watch live on my personal Facebook page, Paul Gordon. As of right now, you can look for the guy with the AR-15 and uh, just so you relax, it, 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 it was lost long ago in a tragic, tragic boating accident. Don't forget to join me tonight on this Daily Tuesday with Bodhi Agora at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On the Liberty Principle Facebook page, the page is linked in the video description. Tonight's show is entitled, Fembots Are Feminists Too. As always, remember, those who need to control thoughts need to control news. Until tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this is Paul Gordon of iState.tv saying, Have a great rest of your day, fellow iStaters.